Hey guys, today I'm back in my closet and I wanted to talk about why I plan on selling a lot of my investments. Um, don't worry, I'm not getting out of this whole space of investing into Pokemon. I'm still investing um, pretty heavily, uh, but I plan on kind of changing my portfolio because as time has passed, I've kind of gotten, I think, a little bit smarter and I've thought about it a little bit more and I want to sell a lot of this stuff that I think is just, you know, going to be hard to move later on or there's just better places to put my money. And some of these things I bought a while ago and I wasn't that smart, um, but I'm going to talk about all the products I'm planning on selling and why I'm doing that. Um, let's first start off with these collection boxes. Now, a lot of you guys have said, you know, these collection boxes are going to be a mess to sell in the future. Um, they're just going to be terrible because, you know, collection boxes are not as popular as maybe booster boxes and some other products. And it's just having so much of them, it's taking a lot of space. And I did say back then, you know, I get all those points, but the packs inside are amazing, right? There's Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, and Four Celebration packs. And I got these at retail at like $20. So it's like a no-brainer pickup. As time has gone on though, I'm like, okay, yeah, there might be a lot of good stuff about the box, but the problem is, it's just, I have way too many. And I've kind of gone into that realization where I'm like, okay, I look at all these that I have, I'm like, I should probably downsize a little bit. Um, I'm not selling all of these. I'm keeping, and this is just for now, I plan on just selling the Dark Sylvian ones. And the reason why I'm doing that is because, one, I honestly just like the Charizard boxes better, and I think they're going to perform better than the Sylvian ones. It'll probably be pretty similar, um, just because people usually buy them for mainly the packs, um, but I do think these are going to perform a little bit better. Um, so I'm planning on selling all of these, and I'm going to sell them in person, not on eBay, because this is going to be a mess to sell on eBay, and also um, the fees and stuff. I don't want to have to deal with that, so I'm going to try to sell these um, in person, and um, yeah, I'm going to sell them obviously for a profit. I don't think, I'm not going to lose money, but I'm not saying that these are a bad investment, but I just, I have too many, um, especially with collection boxes, just, okay, a case of booster boxes, you can see how much space it takes up and how many booster boxes, there's only six. This was what, like $720 for a case of Lost Origin? Um, these were $20 each, so this right here is about a case worth of um, Lost Origin booster boxes in terms of price. So, just think about it. Pretty much a case of Lost Origin booster boxes, you can see how much space there is of taking up. And there's only six boxes, that's all I have to sell, six boxes. Versus this many <laughs> collection boxes. Yes, I can sell them in person, and like I'm going to do later down the road, but just overall... It's going to be a lot harder to sell these, and I'm starting to realize that. So I think for how many celebration collection boxes I have, I need to get rid of some. And I'm going to keep the better of the two because I do think that Charizard is going to be better. So I'm going to sell all these. And I know I could probably wait a little bit to sell them because, you know, Evolving Sky Celebrations is still relatively modern, like new. So I could wait a couple more years and they'll probably go like, it'll probably go up a lot more than it is right now because it's been kind of stagnant. But I think selling them and investing that money into like, a case of booster boxes is kind of the move right now especially with black friday coming up i want to save some money and get some deals on booster boxes because honestly that is the product i'm kind of going for right now um back then honestly i was kind of just buying whatever and a lot of these boxes i bought about a year ago um but yeah i'm planning on selling all these um but i'm going to keep the charizard ones and like i said they're not a bad investment but i just have too many so if you're like me and you have a lot of these boxes maybe try to reconsider buying all these unless you're going to break them down into packs and i guess you can do that but like i've said before i don't break down boxes into packs or whatever i just don't do that um but yeah 100 percent selling all of the all of these i'm gonna at least try to and we'll see how that works and i'll update you guys on that um but going along with the collection theme i don't i'm not going to sell these boxes and i'll tell you why um first of all i don't have a lot of them i only have eight of these and six of these so it's not going to be that hard to sell that quantity um, plus, I think there is still a lot more room for these to grow. I only spent $30 on each box, so um, I don't have that much invested into them. Um, they've already doubled in value, basically. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to keep them because I think they're going to still be good. Especially the premium collection boxes are a little bit better than just the normal ones. Um, same thing with the Arceus one. Um, got them for only $25 each. Only have six of them. So it's not really worth selling them. And at the profit I'm going to make, I'd rather just hold on to them. And they're just a really nice box. Um, but yeah, moving on from the collection boxes, I'll tell you guys some other stuff I plan on selling. Now, if you've watched my other videos, you guys can see that there's something missing here. I'll give you guys a second to guess what's missing from the shelf. It's the Charizard EX boxes. There's none of them left in my closet. I sold them and I sold them in person. Um, the reason why I sold them is because honestly buying them, I knew I wasn't going to hold on to them for that long. Um, 
at the time I bought them, I got them for a really good price. And the price on eBay was like starting to rise. Like the sales were like pretty like highly priced. Like honestly, I think it was a little bit overpriced. So I'm like, okay, this is probably time to sell them because vintage collection boxes are really cool. But the thing is, is that they're pretty hard to sell. And um, I'm trying to stay away from selling on eBay, to be honest. So I'm like, okay, if I can sell them right now and make a profit, I could obviously make a little bit more on eBay, but I don't want to have to deal with that. So I'm like, okay, I just want to sell them. So luckily I was able to sell them. And with that money, I'm going to invest into booster boxes, but um, I'm not going to buy right now. And I'm going to make a whole separate video for that, but I sold them because they're like almost a decade old. Those Charizard EX boxes already had a lot of time to grow and the price right now is pretty high. So I don't want to risk it going down and I'm going to have to sell for like a loss or something. So just take some profits now, get rid of them and invest into other things. Um, so I got rid of those. Um, there's some other boxes that I plan on trying to sell. This Zekrom one, honestly, I might just keep because I just like it. Like, I don't really care about, you know, that, you know, it's not going to probably go up as much as investing into something else. But I just want to keep the box because honestly, I just like it. Um, but I do plan on selling maybe this Evolutions XY um, Elite Trainer box. Um, I traded in, I did trade in value at an LCS for that box. I only paid like 30 something dollars in cash and the rest was um, trading value. Uh, so I am, am actually okay with selling this and I don't really care about this box too much to be honest. Uh, so I'm probably going to sell this one in person. I'm going to try to get like close to 220, maybe even just 200 uh, because I don't think this box is going to take a while to grow. It's been pretty stagnant. Um, so probably going to sell that. Um, going further down here, you can see I have some Elite Trainer boxes and I don't have that much. And it's just because I kind of even knew back then, like I knew that Elite Trainer boxes were kind of just super like overprinted still there's not a bad investment depending what set it is like you know evolving skies obviously um crown zine those sets are like fine but just normal ones like vivid voltage shining face was super overprinted and it's going to take forever for those to go up i might sell these for a loss and it's because i don't care to hold on to them um and i just kind of got want to get rid of some of these boxes that are just kind of just like I don't know, they're just like bricks. These are gonna take forever. Don't really care about holding on to them. I'm willing to sell them for a loss just to get them out, use the money for something else. And I'm willing to take a small loss on those. Um, other boxes like Vivid Voltage, I just got for display purposes. I know they're sitting in my closet. Um, but yeah, plan on selling those Elite Trainer boxes. Um, up here, oh, the Pokemon Go one. Now this one, at the time I bought it, they were out of stock and they actually, I think we're going for around a hundred bucks on eBay. Probably should have sold it, but I still have it. They're still available, I think, on Pokemon Center. I might have to take a loss on some of these. Like, no one's going to really care about Pokemon Go, let's be honest. Probably going to sell this if I can in person. Take a small loss, I don't know. Hidden Fates might keep that one. Um, It's been pretty, like, stagnant. Like, kind of like the Evolutions ones. Uh, but I think I'm going to keep it, though. Um, Next here, uh, on this right side, I have some Checkling Blisters now. Honestly, for things that I don't have much of... I'm probably going to keep, uh, for example, like XY base, only have one of them. There's no real point of selling. It's like 30 bucks that I bought it for. Um, next destinies. I only have two of them. Might just keep it. And I have a lot of the evolutions ones that I could sell for a good profit. Um, but honestly, I just like checkling blisters and I don't have that much invested into them. So I'm probably going to keep these. And that's the same for the team up ones I have here. They shot up in price. It's like one of the best sun and moon sets gonna keep those not gonna sell them because i think they still have a lot of um space to grow so those i'm keeping um finally we're coming down here to the cases now i kind of regret buying some of these to be honest and i'll tell you why um the first one here we got the dragon pulp prime collection boxes i bought these knowing they weren't a good investment um i bought them each for 80 bucks and um that's the only why i bought them they were so cheap i knew that if i wanted to sell them right away i could and make a little bit of money so honestly i'm going to sell these in person i'm um, trying to make a little profit but these are honestly just kind of like bricks um because just the box is not that nice it's like two celebration packs of vivid voltage not really a great box um to have so i'm going to get rid of these they just take up a lot of space not really worth holding on to so i'm going to just sell them um so i can get my money back and invest them into something else because these boxes are not that great um next we got the crown zenith tins now honestly these ones i wish i didn't buy because one um tins are just not that like sought after versus like a elite trainer box like honestly i should have bought an elite trainer box case if i was going to invest in the crown zenith not the tins 
they're still not a bad investment, but it's just I'd rather invest them into something else like a lead trainer box. So I'm going to try to sell. I have two of these. So I'm going to try to sell these at least for what I paid. Um, they're still exactly what I paid for them. Like the price is the exact same. I bought them for like $139 after tax. If you go on eBay, they're around this. I think it's exactly the same amount. So I'm just going to try to sell them for like 140 in person. And hopefully just get my money back. Um, because I'd rather buy elite trainer boxes than the tins. Um, finally down here, we got the Paladia pin collection boxes. Um, I bought these knowing they probably weren't the best investment, but I just kind of like the box because of the starters and they have the pins. I was thinking about selling these, but I honestly just might keep them because I do like the box. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. But I wanted to make this video to talk to you guys about kind of like my realization of, you know, I had a different mindset back then and I don't think this is the best way to invest right now. Um, because I just, as you can see, I don't have that much space and I'm thinking about just the future of selling these and um, I'm just thinking a little bit differently now. So I just want to share that with you guys because hopefully, you know, you guys can kind of, um, I guess, learn from what my mistakes was, was just buying too many of these. They're good investment, but don't buy too many because um, just if you're going to invest this much money into a collection box, honestly, the booster box is the way to go. And I'm going to make a whole nother video about, you know, what booster boxes or other products that I plan on buying. But definitely, um, I'm kind of done buying collection boxes, to be honest. Uh, I know that kind of is different from what I said before, where, you know, these were super good investment. They are, but just not at the quantity at, that I'm buying in the mat or that you might be buying the mat. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed and learned a little bit of something. Um, yeah, I just need to get rid of these. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.